Okay, our sound, our song is coming along great, but now it's time to take a little break, and it's called a bridge. It's right happens in the middle of your song. I'm going to put the playhead right here after this uh, part of the chorus, and I'm actually going to select this um, track up here. So this track is now selected, and I'm going to cut the track right here. We had looped it, so I'm going to double tap, two finger tap on the trackpad here, and I'm going to say split at playhead. So now there's a track here, I mean a, a section here and a section here. And I'm now going to grab the bottom part of this, and I need, I'm going to make my bridge, oops, 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 oops. I, I'm going to make it for eight. So let me just move this over. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let me just double check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So there's eight. Remember, multiples of two. And I'm going to two finger tap. I'm going to split at playhead. And then I'm going to select this one and press delete on my keyboard, and now it's gone. We just have this empty spot in the middle of our song. It goes like this, listening to our chorus, and then nothing, nothing. And that's where we're going to add the bridge, the little break. Let's go back to our 80s because there was another beat there. What was that other 80s beat? Because we went with backbeat 01, but let's go find backbeat um, 02. Here it is. It's very similar, so I like that a lot. So let's go put that in, and then let's, let's loop that out to fill that hole. Okay, so we've got that in there. Yeah, you always, you want your bridge to be similar, but not, and not completely different to the rest of the song. I mean, sometimes artists really go in a whole new direction for their bridge, but it's to give your listeners just a little bit of a break in the middle of your song. A little recess, as it were. So we've got that in there, but I don't know. Let's let's just. I'm going to clear my search here, and I'm going to get out of the '80s. Um, I need something that sounds. Let's just. Okay, that is not going to work. No. What is this one? I don't know. Let's let's try it underneath here. Let's see if that goes good with our little break in the middle of it here. So we're listening to our song, dun 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 dun, and then suddenly. Okay, I think that's just a little too creepy, so we're going to go ahead and two finger tap over here and delete that track. It's like, hey, there's something there. I'm like, no, that's okay, I really don't want it. Okay. Um, I'm still hearing the A's. Um, no. An airplane. Okay, that's an airplane passing over. That's a sound effect. That's not what we want. Alien call. No, we don't want that in the middle of our song. Um, okay, I mean, let, let's try it. Let's just put it in there. I mean, what are we going to do here? We can just delete it later. Okay, I got to tell you, I like it. It's staying in the song, so please do the same thing. All your bass blip synth. And uh, when it works, it works. I'm going to loop that out so it fills up the, the middle there. So now we have a bridge. Okay, now let's finish off our song, and we're going to finish with another verse and another chorus. Okay, so we have a bit of a bridge, and we're going to add to this later on, but let's, let's go grab our verse here. Okay, and I'm going to press copy, and I'm going to come over to here, and I'm going to paste it. I'm going to go grab our chorus, copy, and then I'm going to paste it. Okay, so let, it, let's zoom out so you can see everything here. Okay, so we have our back beat that drives the whole song, except for this little break in the middle, which we switch over to a different beat. A little bit of an intro, and then we have verse, chorus, verse, chorus, um, bridge, verse, chorus, and then we're kind of done. So let's, let me zoom back in and call a finishing end to our song. So um, I'm going to grab the looping part of this and loop it back to here. Uh, since we started with two measures of an intro, let's have two measures of an outro, and let's solve that problem a little bit later. But this is the backbone of our song right now. So we have actually, yeah, all the backbone material for a song. We have everything we need. So come back in the next one, and we're just going to keep adding some interesting layers to it. And, and part of it is this joy. Like, you put, a tr you put a loop down, and you're like, oh, that's great. And sometimes you put a loop down, and you're like, no, that's terrible. Get rid of that. And I've showed you both examples of those. So, and you can see I followed a, a theme here, which made it really easy because I'm kind of making an 80s retro song. So uh, come back in the next one, and we're going to add some really cool, cool layers to it.